Hello friends, welcome back to the channel DevOps Consultancy and Solution. In this video, we will learn how to integrate the Cynic security tool with Docker Hub and scan our Docker images. These days, most of the application are microservices with Docker-based deployment. Either deployed container on Kubernetes or AKS or ECS. So security, security scanning of Docker images is quite important these days to ensure there should not be any vulnerability in application that we can deploy it on the production. So let's go to the clear board and I will explain you each step one by one that I'm going to perform. So first I will create the access personalized access token. So which is required to connect Snake security tool with Docker Hub. So then uh, we will do the integration. So integration, we will do integration with So I will do the integration with the SNCC and the Docker Hub. So next will be scan Docker images. So let's get started. Go to the Docker Hub tab. So I log into the Docker Hub account and I have a couple of images in this for the testing purpose. I have both public and the private images. So if you can see here, this the first image is the private and the next two images are the public one. So you can understand security scanning can be done for both public and the private images. In order to create the personalized access token, first click on the account setting, which is under this name. So if you go here in the account setting, right? So you can see here in the down, the personalized access token. So here you can see I have already two personal access tokens. So I, in order to create the access token, I will click here and I will click on generate access token. So I will give the name here. Snick integration demo and expiration date. I will select here the custom date, which will be for the tomorrow. And here I need to select the read only. So when we select the read only, it will pull the images and scan the public and the private repository both. So I will click on the generate button. So now the access token has been created. So I will copy the access token because it is required for integration with the SNCC. Here is a Docker login command, which also you can use to login when you want to use the uh, when you don't want to use the password and want to use the token which will expire after some time so you can use this docker login space hyphen u with your username and the username of your docker so i just copy the access token here so now we will go to the snick so if i go to the uh, on the snick security tool here you can see I have only one project which is the uh, Java project which we used in the previous example, right? So there is no other uh, image scanned here. So I will click here on the add project option or from here there is an option add project Docker Hub is there. Another option is to select the integration in the left panel and do the integration with the Docker Hub registry. So now click on the integration. So now we are on the SNCC integration page and here there are multiple container registry options available but we will use the Docker Hub and I will click on the here Docker Hub. So here it is required the username and the access token. So username is your Docker Hub account. So I will use my username here the DevOps CNS solutions and the access token with the same which I copied. So I will click on the save. So now the connection has been established. We, it is required to scan the images. So I will click here on the uh, add your docker hub images to snake. So I will click here. So here you can see multiple images and its versions. 
so this is the images uh, one so for all these three images i have only v1 version available so if you have multiple versions available then it, it is really helpful you can select which version you want to scan because i have only just three images and it has only the version v1 so i will select all the three images and its version to to do the scanning so after selecting here so I will click on add selected images. So now the images has been imported and if I click on the project. So here you can see it already com uh, completed the scanning for the first two images, which is the my Nginx image and the my test app. So for the third image, my SQL image, the scanning is going on so if i refresh the page i can see here the scanning is completed for this image also so i can click on the any repository and see what are the details so if for version one it is showing how many vulnerabilities are there if i click on the v1 i can see the complete detail of the each and every vulnerabilities so it will give me if i click on show more details it can give me the complete detail. Uh, what is the vulnerability issue and how we can fix it. Uh, once you fix the issue and upload the image again with the same version, you can do the retest. So if you are updating the image with the same version, which is a V1 tag, so then you can click on the retest and it will pull the image from the Docker Hub and do the scanning. So in this way, we can integrate security scanning with Docker Hub and keep monitoring the images that we are using. Security is key component of DevOps in each step. So either for code or the Docker images. Hope this session was useful for you and you learned how to scan the Docker images using the SNIC security tool. So in the next video, I will demonstrate how to use the SNIC CLI command to scan code and the images because it is very handy and useful when you are working in a secure organization. So sometimes you have to or want to use those commands into this script along with the docker build or the docker tag command because before push images to the container registry you want to do the scanning of all the images so so stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe happy learning and keep learning